Hey there guys, Skippy here from Skippy6 Gaming in the house for y'all. Today we are working on an automatic melon farm, but this one's actually a little different than the huge automatic melon farm. It is automatic because you don't actually have to do anything. However, it doesn't pop and store the melons on its own. I use it like a fast food take drive through kind of. So let's switch it to uh, survival because we want to see exactly how many we get here because I never actually tried it. So we have six melons. So let's, let's just throw the melons on the floor. We don't want those ones. And let's check it out. So basically, I made mine six Why You can make this up to 15 long, but basically, you just go through here. And look at that. I missed one, but at the end of the day, there you go. A stack of melons, pretty much. Uh, that easy. It's going to replant. Where did those even come from? But there you go. You just run through, and the melons will regrow. Wait for them to grow. Do it again. You know, pretty simple. Honestly, I just leave it there, and then when you're about to go out for the day, you know, you're going to go explore some caves, whatevs, whatevs. Look how fast it comes back. Just run through. I wouldn't even pick up the extra melons. Honestly, I would just leave it. You know, one run through on six gives you a stack, so you could make this 15, which will almost give you two and a half stacks, uh, maybe more melons. So I would just make this. It's so easy to build, guys. Super fun. Uh, you can't really go wrong. So on this one here, guys, for your build you're gonna need one pressure plate two buckets of water about 24 dirts 12 melon seeds three glowstone about a half a stack of slabs and about a half a stack of glass uh, six redstone dust six carpet and 12 sticky pistons again this is for a six long one you could make this go 15 if you really wanted to but honestly one stack of melons is more than enough for me and before i jump into the bill let me remind you guys if you do appreciate these sorts of tutorials feel free to smash that like and show some love for skippy six gaming as well as share this video on social media with your friends that said let's jump into the build so now that we got the stuff we need let's go over here the way you're going to do this is actually pretty simply we're going to go back here so basically Put yourself a hole in the floor. If you're going to make it up to 15 long, go ahead. But for ours, like I said, we're making it six. And you're going to make it uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're going to make it go too deep on the third one in on each side. Looks good to me. Yeah, it does. And drop your sticky pistons down in a straight line right here. Looks good. Grab your dirt. Put your dirt right here. This guy right here looks good to me grab redstone dust and bring it right down the line take your pressure plate right here and <laughs> there you go pretty much that's the redstone of it it's actually very straightforward and now what we're gonna do is go ahead and put another layer of dirt on the back side of each of these dudes i hear i hear enderman but we're on peaceful right now that's crazy and for you guys you only have to put one redstone you only have to put one water in here and it'll run the whole thing but since i'm like ocd i'm just gonna go ahead and fill it up i don't mind once that's done go ahead and grab a hoe over here and hoe the back sides again this is gonna maybe grow a melon while you do it but then you're gonna want to place all your melons again if you're doing this in survival you probably want to place the melons first just because it's going to take a million years for them to grow let's go in the middle here and just place our carpet on top of all of this yeehaw now we're going to grab our glass and we want to make it so that these melons go here so the first thing you're going to do is put a block on the end and a block over the water that's going to keep it safe from mobs put this guy here do the same thing on the other side looks good looks good I'm liking it so that looks good to me again I like to make a narrow kind of look at that it already grew no joke holy cow I like to make it just a simple path of one going through here uh, so what I'll do is most likely do this and this and then I'll do one here and here and then the other thing is you're gonna want to put the, the glass over top here again we, the reason I do a lot of this is we want to make it mob free number one uh, and you don't want to give anything the ability to spawn in there so I throw these guys on and yeah so let's grab some bone meal you're gonna probably want to bone meal these melons I'll tell you right now or you're gonna be waiting a million years for them to grow and tree times one two true under tree one under tree get them a little advanced but I really think this is a novel concept because like I don't know what do you need more than if you made this 15 long and be like one run through two stacks of melons you and the crew 
looks good so what i do here is i'm probably going to go ahead and just grab uh some half slabs and a few pieces of glowstone again this glowstone is kind of key because you don't want mobs spotting in there and you know what i'm not going to get into uh, minecraft mythbusters right now uh, but i feel like if there's glowstone in there it most likely will help them grow better at night i don't know if let me know what you think because i'm pretty sure that depending on the light they grow far they grow faster uh, that said, if there's glowstone, that means at night in your world that you will have the opportunity to have them grow a little faster. So let's take these guys. The rest of it's all up to you guys. Uh, I threw some stairs on there. I didn't put that in the in the ingredients, but you could do whatever you want if you put some stairs right there. And you're pretty safe right there. Go ahead, throw some item frames on it, and yeah, perfect. So don't run through it backwards. Actually, you really could if you really wanted to just put a plate here and then you could go both ways. But I have a funny feeling it will affect it adversely. Oh, I, I planted melons. But there you go, guys. Looks pretty good to me. I like it. It gives you a lot of these guys and I'm not going to go through it again. But don't forget to smash that like. Tune in tomorrow uh, for some more daily Minecraft uploads and uh, catch on the next one.